In this short video, I'll be showing you how to group your clashes using properties in Navisworks. Now, first thing you want to make sure is you know where this property information resides in the model. So for instance, if I come over here and I select this concrete floor here, you can see I really don't have many properties that I want to use for my grouping. But if I go up to the next level, there I can see I've got the element tab, I got item, I've got a lot of information at this level. So this is probably where I want to pull the data from. So I just want you to be aware of when you're talking about this level right here, that's the zero level. It's a read level of zero. This is read level one. And as you keep going up, it's read level two and three and so on. So in my situation, I want to make sure that I'm reading at read level one. So in the Clash Manager, so you need Clash Manager open. We're going to come over here to our options. I'm going to click on options and the option dialog box comes up. Then I'm going to go to the data tab. On the data tab, it shows you CR1 property read level is set to one. CR2 property read level is set to one also. CR1 means the first element in the clash, so it's the very first object. Another way to look at this is in your clash detective, it's everything on your selection A side is considered CR1, everything on the selection B side is considered CR2. Another thing I have set here is enable subnotes search. So for instance, maybe one object, the data is at read level zero, but I've got it set to one. So what it'll do is it'll look for read level one first. If it doesn't find it, it'll work its way down and go to the next level. So you definitely need to make sure your CR1 and your CR2 is set correctly. So I'm gonna go okay here. Now we're gonna bring up what's called column chooser. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click on this very first icon. It's called column chooser. And this brings up my column chooser. Another way to bring this up is you can right click on any column and bring up column chooser this way. I've already got it open at the moment. So now that column chooser is open, this is now showing us all the properties inside Navisworks that I could use to help me sort or group these clashes. Once again, CR1 is everything on your selection A side. So in my case, that's my structural model. And so the next thing you see here, this is the tab name. So there you can see CR1 element and then the actual property. So if I come on down here, there's your CR1, then we get into CR2s and all the way at the bottom, you've got things like grid level and grid lines, things like that. So I wanna pick a property that I wanna use. So for instance, I'm gonna say, let's do grid level. All I do is click on grid level and I drag it and drop it right next to this clash group here. And now you can see my clashes have all been grouped by the level. Now I'm gonna grab some other property. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna select CR2 element. Let's go element here. And I'm gonna grab system name. So if I drag and drop it, now you can see I've grouped it by level, then by system names. This concludes this short video on grouping clashes by using Navisworks properties.